Hi, second graders. Hey, kiddos. Um, we're going to do some science together today. And this is Unit 10, which is our last unit in science. And I thought we would do it together because it can be a little bit confusing. So uh, it's about energy. This first lesson is about energy. And so we're going to start away, right away looking at this first page. And it says, find the answer to the question in the lesson. What kind of energy do you see in this picture? Uh, the, the picture looks a little deceiving. It's a little difficult to figure out. But if I do something like this, I'm hoping that you'll be able to figure out what it is. Um, let me just give you a little hint, okay? Okay, what did you just see? And I think you kind of saw the tip of it in the, um, on the screen. So what, what was that that you saw across your screen there? Well, I hope you said light energy because that's exactly what it is. It is light energy. And we're going to talk about different forms of energy in today's lesson. The first thing that you know that you're supposed to do all the time in this active reading on the very first page is what? Yes, find your vocabulary words. So you want to flip through, look for the seven vocabulary words, and go ahead and write them. All right? Okay, I'll give you a few seconds to do that. You could pause the video and then go ahead, find your words, and then start the video up again. Okay. All right, I'm going to look through, and the words that I see, and hopefully that you have seen, are energy, sound, light, heat. Vibrate, pitch, and loudness. Okay, I'm going to move my cord. Okay, so those are our seven vocabulary words. Okay, so we're going to be discussing all of them as we go through the lesson. One of the first things that I wanted to do, though, and if we have time at school, we usually do this, and I especially want to do it during this lesson, is I am going to switch out of this, so you're not going to see that anymore, and I'm going into our science lesson. And I thought together we could watch the video, okay? Because I think it's really important for us to watch this one. My mom, my brother, my cousins and I are camping in the forest. Today was such a fun day. When it got dark, we told mom that we were too full of energy to sleep. Mom said we should sit by the campfire, relax, and roast marshmallows. But do you know what? There is still energy all around us. Click the hot spots to find out where the energy was. Then click the next button when you're ready to learn more about forms of energy. Okay, keep in mind, boys and girls, that we're going to do the same thing that we do in class. Now, if we go through this kind of quickly and you feel like you should um, go through it again, well, then you're more than welcome to go ahead and, and view the um, video because I have a link in the assignment. So all you have to do is go back to your assignment and click on the link and you can get back into here and watch it again, okay? All right, so they're at a campfire and here we go. After we ate our marshmallows, we decided to tell silly stories. Abby's was the silliest story. She made all kinds of sound effects, like tweeting birds and crashing lightning. We ended the fun evening by singing funny camp songs. Okay, so if you'll notice that focus here is sound. That's right. 
Sound is a form of energy. Sound was also one of our vocabulary words that we just wrote. Mom helped us put marshmallows on sticks. Then we stood safely away and held our sticks over the fire. We could feel the heat from the flames, even from far away. The heat turned our marshmallows a nice golden brown. Before we roasted the marshmallows, we cooked our dinner over the heat of the campfire. And again, here is another form of energy. It is heat coming from a campfire. Mom was right. Sitting by the fire was relaxing. We loved looking into the bright oranges and yellows of the flames. The fire gave off a nice, gentle light as we sat around it. Can you see the light on my brother's face? Okay, and just like the light that I was flashing uh, on the screen for you to identify that it was light energy that you were seeing, there's light coming from the fire, and you can see that child's face is brighter because of the light. Welcome to the lesson, What is Energy? In this lesson, you'll learn what energy is and find out about some forms of energy. You'll also learn how these energy forms are used in everyday life. The vocabulary words for this lesson are heat, light, sound, vibrate, energy, loudness, and pitch. Click each word to find out more about it. Okay, and you know I'm not going to click these words because every single time that I've done it in class, I have ended up um, exiting out of the video, and I don't want to do that. So we'll be talking more about each one of those particular vocabulary words as we go. Okay, so follow along. Did you know that the sun is essential to life? It gives us light and heat. Some people use sunlight to provide heat and light for their homes. The sun is an important source of heat to keep us warm. The sun's light lets us see and helps plants make food. Okay, just like on a day that's um, rainy and cloudy, we can't see that sun, therefore we're, things are kind of dull and not very colorful and not very bright. Uh, so the sun is a sor source of light that helps brighten things up and helps us see things more clearly and brighter. Energy is something that can cause matter to move or change. Some basic forms of energy are heat, light, and sound. Heat can cause ice to melt. Sound can make a drum move. Click each of the images to learn more about these forms of energy. And these are really important for you to pay attention to because you're going to have to answer questions in regards to these. All three of them are the forms of energy that we're going to be discussing. Heat is a kind of energy that makes things warmer. The people sitting near the fireplace can feel heat as a form of energy from the fire. Light is a kind of energy that lets us see. It also helps plants make food. Sound is a form of energy that we can hear. Sound is made when something vibrates. To vibrate means to move back and forth very quickly. The bars on the top of a xylophone vibrate when you hit them. The vibrations make sounds that we can hear. Heat is a kind of energy that makes things warmer. There are many different ways to get heat. Click the picture to learn more about different sources of heat. Heat from the hair dryer can be used to dry wet hair. The heat from the dryer makes the water evaporate faster. This makes the hair dry faster. Heat from a campfire is very useful. The heat comes from burning wood. 
The heat can keep you warm, and it can be used to cook food, like hot dogs and marshmallows. Heat from a stove can be used to cook food. Unlike a campfire, most stoves don't burn wood. They burn gas, or they use electricity to make heat. This is a hot spring. Hot springs have heat from inside Earth that makes water hot. This terrarium has a heat lamp above it to warm it for the animal that lives here. The lamp is different from a regular lamp for light because it gives off much more heat. This terrarium has a heat lamp above it to Sorry. warm it for the animal that lives here. The lamp is different from a regular lamp for light because it gives off much more heat. Yeah, you didn't need to hear that twice. <laughs> Sorry. When heat is added to something, that thing's temperature increases or goes up. When heat is taken away from something, that thing's temperature decreases or goes down. For example, the sun causes the temperature of ice cream to increase, and the ice cream melts. A freezer takes away heat, so the temperature of the ice cream decreases when you put it in the freezer. Some of these pictures show heat is being added, and some show heat being taken away. Move each picture to the correct box to show that either heat is being increased or decreased. Okay, so increase, we're adding heat, okay, adding heat to something. So let's look for some pictures of things that we're adding heat. This one, when they're blowing on something hot in the spoon, is that adding heat or taking it away? We're trying to take it away. So let's see if it goes down here. There it is. This one, I don't even know what that is a picture of. Oh, it's a toaster. Um, a toaster, would that be increasing heat or adding heat or taking heat away? Yep, when you put something in, it's toasting it, it's adding heat. Okay, the ice cream, it looks like it's melting, guys. So are we adding heat or taking it away? Looks like we're adding it. Fire, charcoal, are we adding heat to this? Charcoal or taking it away? Adding it. These are popsicles. Are we going to add heat or are we going to take heat away? Well, it looks like they're getting ready to go into the freezer. So, And then this one is fast-moving air. Great work. A toaster, match, or the sun can add heat to something making its temperature increase. Putting food in a freezer or blowing cool air on hot food can take heat away from it, making its temperature decrease. Sitting in front of a fan when you are hot will also make you feel cooler. Okay, let's go to the next. Light is a form of energy that helps us see. We use light in many different ways. Click each picture to find out more about how we use light. The overhead lights in a classroom are a source of light. Everyone can see their work while in the room, except when they blink like this. Yes, then it makes it difficult to work. Or sometimes um, in our classroom, when we have difficulty seeing the screen, we have to turn a light off right so that we can see, see the um, whiteboard better when we're projecting something up there we turn half the lights off so that we can see better so we um, make things dimmer in there in, instead of brighter computers televisions and other electronic devices give off light this lets us see an image on the screen So, a computer is a source of light. A lighthouse has very powerful lights 
that shine through the night sky. The light helps ships stay away from the rocky shore. A lighthouse oh, has been. Drivers need the headlights on a car to see the road at night. The sun is an important source of light. Plants use light from the sun to make their own food. Okay, I think that's it for the sources of light. How are the things around you affected by the amount of light they get? The amount of light can affect how well you can see things. A plant might not grow as much if it doesn't get much light. When the amount of light is increased or decreased, colors appear brighter or dimmer. Click play to see how increasing and decreasing light will change what you see around you. Here, the moonlit night fades and the sun is coming up. The sky is becoming brighter. Now, the sun is higher in the sky. The colors are bright now. Plants are using the light from the sun to make food. Now, the sun is beginning to set. The colors are starting to become dimmer. The air is cooling. Here, the sun has gone down. It is hard to see colors and shapes. The air has cooled. So then it becomes cooler at night. Especially if you're out camping and you realize that, you know, the sun has gone down, it starts to get a little bit cooler. Sound is a form of energy that is made when something vibrates. To vibrate is to move back and forth very quickly. Sound can change in loudness and pitch. Loudness is how loud or soft a sound is. Pitch is how high or low a sound is. Click the highlighted areas of the picture to learn more about sound. The actor is making sound with his voice. The sound is loud enough so that the audience can hear it. He is called a baritone because his voice has a low pitch. The instrument is making sound. The audience can't hear it by itself, but they can hear the music the whole orchestra makes together. The instrument makes a sound that is much higher than the actor's voice. The person in the audience is whispering to the person next to her. The sound is loud enough that only that person can hear it. Whispering has a medium pitch. The person is making sound with their hands. The sound is loud enough so that everyone can hear it. Clapping has a high pitch. You've learned a lot about sound. Before we move on, try answering this question. Look at the pictures and decide whether they have a large or small amount of sound. Drag each image into the correct box. All right, let's start up here. And um, two students or children are whispering to one another. So would that be less sound or more sound? Right, if you said less sound. Okay, and then we have fireworks. Less sound or more sound? Yes, it is more sound. Um, if you have pets at home, Pets do not use like fireworks because it is so loud and it scares them. This is um, a child playing on the drums. Less sound or more sound? Yup, more sound. Drums are definitely more. A bird chirping. Less sound or more sound? Yep, less sound. An electric guitar. Less sound or more sound? Yup, more sound. Both of my children got instruments this year, and um, I don't know what Santa was thinking, but one of them got drums, and the other one got an electric guitar. 
Yes, it's unbearable. And this one is a faucet dripping. More sound or less sound? That's a really gentle sound. Great Soft job! Sound. Things like whispering, a bird chirping, and a faucet dripping are not as loud and have less sound. Things like drums, fireworks, and electric guitars make loud sounds and have more sound. You've learned so much about energy. Which things give off heat, light, sound? Drag the labels to the correct pictures to show what kind of energy each object produces. Remember, you can click the pictures to see what they are. Okay, so what is this? Yep, a light bulb. So which one of these is it giving off? Oh, well, let's see. I guess I gotta do this. Yep, light. And then the instrument, sound, and then the blow dryer, heat. Good work. The hair dryer gives off heat. The light bulb gives off light, and the trumpet gives off sound. Great job! You've learned a lot about different kinds of energy. Let's review the main ideas from the lesson. There are many different forms of energy. Energy is something that changes or moves matter. Heat can dry things that are wet. Sound can make things vibrate. Heat is a form of energy that makes matter warmer. Stoves, campfires, and hair dryers give off heat. Light is a form of energy that helps us see things. The sun gives light. So do light bulbs, computer screens, and lighthouses. Sound is a form of energy that we can hear. It is made when something vibrates or moves back and forth quickly. Clapping and singing are sounds. Musical instruments and telephones also make sound. Now that you've finished this lesson, if you wish, you can go back and review any part of the lesson again. Okay, so boys and girls, and that is true, just as it said in the video. If you would like to go back and review any of it, you're more than welcome. If you couldn't hear the video on, um, on this video or recording that I'm making, you can go and watch the video and then come back to my video or YouTube video and we'll work on it together, okay? So I'm going to get out of here because we no longer use that or we need that. And then I'm going to open up to this page. Okay, so now we should have completed this. What kind of energy do you see in this picture? Remember I flashed the light on the screen and then um, write the vocabulary words. And as you can see, up, I'm sorry, we have energy, sound, light, heat, vibrate, pitch, and loudness. Okay, the next page. Actually, let me do this. And this. There, you should be able to see that. Get my face out of here somewhere. Let me go hide somewhere. Okay. So, if, what do you notice on this page here? What is that a picture of? It's bright and clear. Yeah, it's fireworks. Yep. And fireworks happen to have all the forms of energy in it. So let's go through these. And let's read, shall we? It says, full of energy. Look at the fireworks over the city. They give off heat, light, and sound. Heat, light, and sound are kinds of energy. Energy is something that can cause matter to move or change. A detail is a fact about a main idea. Draw one line under a detail, 
drawn arrow to the main idea it tells about. Okay, so up here we're going to think about, actually, I want to think about the main idea. I want us to find the main idea first. So does anybody think that they have any idea what the main idea is in this paragraph right here? So take a second and look at it to determine what the main idea, what these two pages are going to be talking about. Yep, if you said energy is something that can cause matter to move or change, this is the main idea. Okay, that is the main idea. But they want us to underline a detail. So we would underline heat light and sound are kinds of energy and then draw an arrow to our main idea okay all right now i gotta make this bigger and it says over here so hopefully you can see it let me move this over a smidge it says, circle the name of the energy that makes things warmer. Okay. Now remember, this is a whole paragraph um, of things that they're asking us to do. So we're going to take one sentence at a time so it's not overwhelming for you. Circle the name of the energy that makes things warmer. Can we find the energy on these two pages that help to make things warmer? Yes. Heat. Heat is a kind of energy that makes things warmer, so we circle it. Because it said circle. Underline the name of the energy that helps you see. So which one helps you see? So look at both of these pages. Is there a form of energy that helps you see? Yes, it is light. Light is energy that lets you see. You can see objects when light shines on them. You can also see objects that give off light. Now, heat is a kind of energy that makes things warmer. Now let's go to the bottom. Draw an X on the name of energy you can hear. Okay, well over here, we have a symbol, a volume of a speaker. Okay, so we're gonna draw an X on the word sound, because that is energy that you can hear. Okay? All right, it says turn up the heat. You can feel heat from many different things. Heat from the sun warms earth. Moving things that rub together give off heat. Rubbing your hands together warms them up. And so if you do that and you rub your hands together really fast right now, I mean, rub them and do it really fast, you will feel the heat in your hands. Okay? Rubbing your hands together warms them up. Burning fuel gives off heat. Okay? Some fuels cook food and heat homes. Okay? So we use um, burning fuel to heat our homes. Or like a, a stove, you know, if you have a um, gas stove, then you use gas to heat your stove. Same thing for heating homes. Adding heat warms things. Taking away heat cools things. I'm just going to underline this because these are really important. Actually, I don't want to. On underline that because I think we're going to be doing some other underlining so I'm not going to do that but I just want to focus on adding heat warms things taking away heat cools things all right it says an effect tells what happens draw two lines under an effect so an effect is telling what happens some, with something so I want you to look up here there's lots of different examples and there's some on on these two pages um, of effects, what happens, okay? So I want you to look and see if you can find anything that tells an effect of what happens. 
when heat is involved. All right, if you look at the first, the second sentence, heat from the sun warms the earth. Warms the earth is an effect. So we want to underline it twice. Because that's an effect. That's what happens. The sun warms the earth. Okay, moving things. Moving our hands together did what? What was the effect? Gave off heat. Okay, or warms them up. Burning fuel gives off heat. That's what it does. So burning the fuel gives off heat. That's what it's, its effect. Excuse me. Adding heat warms things. Taking away heat cools things. Okay, those are all effects, things that happen. Down here, the burning logs give off heat. The family gets cooler when the fire dies down. So they get cooler. Family gets cooler when the fire downs, dies down. All of those are effects. Those are things that happen when heat is either applied or heat is taken away. All right, now... See this? Oof. I'm going to this over here. I'm going to that I hope you can see that. It says, What happens when you add heat? What happens when you take heat away? So we've been talking a lot about that. What happens when heat is added to something? Okay, things get warmer. Things get warmer. Can you see that? I don't know if this light is in this room is good. I think it's too bright, but when I take the turn the light off, it's dark in here. All right, what happens when you take away heat? What happens when you take heat away? So it warms it up when you apply it, but when you take it away, things get cooler. Okay. All right, let's turn the page. All right, we're going up to the page, and it says, see the light. So here's the symbol, excuse me, for light. The sun, electric lights, and fire all give off light. Light is energy that lets you see. The amount of light can change how you see things. The amount of light can change how you see the color of an object, just like when we change the lights in the classroom. It changes how we can see the board. Um, adding more light can make an object look brighter. Taking away light can make an object look dimmer. How much light? Different materials let different amounts of light pass through. Okay, a window pane lets all light pass through. Okay, and that would be like this right here. You can't tell, but this is a piece of glass. And now when I put this piece of glass up here, we're able to see everything, aren't we? Yep, because the light is shining down and this glass is uh, clear and so that we're able to see through it. So a window pane lets all the light pass through it. Okay, a lampshade, and I have a different kind of lampshade which you're probably more familiar with, so if you look at me, so this type of lampshade lets some light pass through it, okay? So it's, it dims the light a little bit. So it's not as bright as if you just had the light bulb 
and didn't have this outer covering. So it dims the light a little bit and makes it more subtle and more easy, easily easier to handle when you're in the room and it's not so bright. Like this light up ahead above me is too bright, um, but I don't have another light right now in the room that would make things easier um, for me to do the lesson for you. And a door lets no light pass through it. Okay, so and a door is made out of wood. So if you have something like this, this piece of wood, and I shine light on it, okay, now you can see it on this side. Can you see the bright light shining through? But can you see it on the other side? Nope. Now can you see it on the other side? Yep. Can you see it on the other side now? Nope. And let's try this. See the light went all the way through the glass. So you can see the picture and the light on one side and on the other side. See how that works? But a door made of wood is not going to do that. It's not going to let the light go through. Name something else that lets no light pass through. All right, guys, think about it. What else would not let light pass through? So we know a door wouldn't let light pass through. So there are some other things that won't let light pass through. What do you think? I mean, and even if you had a flashlight and you went shining on things in your house, what would not let light pass through? If you shined a flashlight on your door, you're not going to be able to see the light on the other side of the door. Okay? Now some curtains you can shine this light on and you'll be able to see the light on the other side of the curtain. Okay? Um, so some curtains will allow you to see light on the other side. But what would not let you see light? Like a wall. Um, I'm going to think of some other things. I mean, there's lots of things. Like um, your TV, you can't see it from one side to the other if you shine light on through. But doors, walls, ceilings, all those are good answers. Okay. Now this one says... The color of the water and rocks look dim in low light. Okay, that means that's where the sun is um, going down, and so you can't, the light is dim. You can't see things very brightly. And then this one sure looks bright. It's the same area, but look at the difference between these two. This one, the light, the sun has gone down. This one, the sun is up, and it is bright, and the rocks look bright. All right, on the next page, safe and sound. Blow a horn, clash cymbals, clap your hands. What happens? You hear sound. Sound is energy you can hear. Sound is made when an object vibrates. To vibrate is to move back and forth very quickly. A cause tells why something happens. Draw one line under a cause in the paragraph up above. Cause tells why something happens. Draw one line under a cause. Okay, well, let's look at what happened. All right, so the big vocabulary word that we're focusing right now is vibrate is to move back and forth quickly. All right? So a cause tells why something happens. Why is sound made when an object vibrates? Okay, sound is made when the object vibrates. Or when an object vibrates, sound is made. 
sorry, when an object vibrates, sound is made. For example, I don't know if you can see this, okay, but remember our rulers that we have that were in your boxes? If I put this like on the edge of the table, see how it's right here? It's just kind of hanging up. I have it on my, um, excuse me, on my document camera. So if I flip this, it's vibrating back and forth. Okay? And vibration makes sound like on a drum. Okay? When when you hit the top of a drum, it vibrates so it makes sound. When I hit this table, it's vibrating. This t top of this table is vibrating so you can hear that, that sound. All right, so let's go to this next part. Pitch is how high or how low a sound is. Instruments have different pitches. A whistle makes a really high sound. Okay, a really high pitch, but a drum makes a real low pitch. So they both make sounds, but a whistle makes a high sound, and a drum makes a low sound, low pitch. A bird chirping makes that high sound. Okay, let's take a look at the next page. Cheers from a crowd are loud. Whispers are soft. Loudness is how loud or soft a sound is. It takes more energy to make a loud sound than a soft sound. Okay, more energy. So, I have a really loud voice. And so in class, um, you pretty much can hear me. And that's why last time when I was on the Zoom, I asked you guys, am I talking too loud? Because I do have a loud voice and I want you to be able to hear me. And in Zoom classes, um, there's a lot of activity going on. And I don't know if you can hear me, so I project my voice even louder. Um, so if I put more energy and effort into it, it's going to be louder. What happens to the loudness of a sound when more energy is used to make the sound? Well, what happens when we use more energy to make a sound? The sound becomes louder. Okay, you could take a minute and go ahead and write that. The sound becomes louder. Okay, now we're on this next page and it says name three kinds of energies. Energy. Okay, boys and girls, we've been talking about this. And you watched the video. So what are the three different kinds of energy? What are the three different kinds of energy? Anybody know? I think I'm going to have you fill that out. You could tell me the three different kinds of energy, and if you forget, go back in those pages because we talked about them. Circle the answer. What happens when you add heat to something? So when I ha add heat to something, like if I'm cooking on a stove or I'm over a campfire, does it get cooler or does it get warmer? You circle one of those. All right. Down here, match each picture to the kind of energy it shows. A picture may show two kinds of energy. Okay, so you want to find which one makes is sound, which one is heat, and which one is light. Okay. Which one's sound, which one's heat. I'm gonna and I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a little star next to this one. This one goes to two different, two different words, okay? So, this one right here. All right. Okay, now this one says write a word from the word bank. Excuse me, let me put this on here. Write a word from the word bank for each clue. Energy, loudness, heat, and vibrate. So you're going to put these in the correct spot, how loud or soft a sound is, to move back or forth very quickly, can cause matter to move or change, or energy, energy that makes things warmer. 
and then you're going to take these letters and put them down below. Okay, you have to complete that when you turn it in. All right, fill in the chart. Write the effect of each cause. When we add light to something, what happens, boys and girls? Hmm. When we add light to something, what happens? Do you remember? Makes things brighter. When we add heat to something, what does it do? You tell me right there. When I add more energy to make sound, when I put more energy into my sound, what happens to my sound? Makes it. All right. So that's it for this lesson, guys. So I am going to let you go and sign off for this video. And then I'll do another one on our next lesson. So make sure to finish your science. And then have your parents load it um, all the pages, every page, load it up and send it uh, to me, okay? All right. See you later. Thanks for watching.